What's up, Raider Nation? Raider Joe, back at it with another video. You already know what it is. If you don't know, now you know. It's the Silver and Black Vibe Show, man. You already know what time it is, man. Big win for the Raiders. The Raiders. Three in a row, baby. Um, I'm on my Derek Carr shit right now. I'm in the car. <laughs> but uh, first off, man. Let's just get right into it. Game balls across the board, man. First off, the offensive line. That, I, I, I have to mention that every time Josh Jacobs has 100 or more yards, every time Derek Carr throws for multiple touchdowns, this offensive line is really clicking. They're really, they're really doing their thing, man, for real. Shout out to the whole offensive line. Um... Game balls for them, man. Game balls for Derek Carr. He had the one pick. Yeah, maybe he shouldn't have thrown the ball, but it was P.I., but, it, you know, it's all good. It's all good. It was one mistake. After that, he cleaned it up, and it was all good. Josh Jacobs, another big game, baby. I'm telling you right now, he keeps running the way he does. I'm really, I'm, I'm predicting, bro, 2,000 yards at the end of the season. 2K. Um... Uh, JJ to 2K, Devontae Adams, game ball. Um, who else, man? Let's go to the defensive side, man. Chandler Jones. For those of you that watched my pregame with Afakasi, Auntie Six, and everybody that pulled up, shout out to everybody that pulled up. I said on there, man, and I say it week in and week out, but it finally clicked, bro. The odds finally went in our favor, man. I was like, hey, man. Chandler Jones needs to have a, a, a game, a good game. You know, it, it, Max Crosby can't do it all on his own, man. He needs somebody on the other end to do their part. And you saw that today, man. Three sacks, bro. Three sacks. And that's the thing, man. He's been getting there the last few weeks, but he just has not been getting the sack. Right? He's been getting the pressures, but not the sacks. Today, he got three of them, man. I need a couple more on Thursday night, especially because I'm going to that game. But anyways, so Chandler Jones, uh, who else stepped up big on defense, man? Trayvon Merrick, Nate Hobbs, Deron Harmon. These are all studs, man. We forced a turnover. I think Deron Harmon forced a turnover coming out of the second half when the Chargers got the ball. And uh, Trayvon Mer or, uh, Nate Hobbs picked it up, man. Deron Harmon forced it, and Nate Hobbs picked it up, if I'm not mistaken. Um Great, great turnover, man. That's one thing about this game is we got our jitters and our mistakes out of the way early, just like we did the last game against the Seahawks, right? And then we started taking the ball away. I thought that was big, man. And one thing I did I did really like, bro, is that in the fourth quarter, man, when we weren't able to get the touchdown and we had to settle for three and we went up by 14, yeah, the defense gave up the touchdown, but then at the end, they didn't give up. They didn't give it up, right? Um, last season at the at the end of the year, man, we were giving up those fourth downs, and we let the Chargers get back into that game and take it into overtime, man. We didn't do that today, man. I thought that was great. You know, I thought that was great, man. Uh, you know, that's the thing. Defense doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as they can step up in these key moments to end the game and stuff like that. Hey, man, I'm all for it, bro. I'm going to give them their flowers. Everybody on defense deserves flowers today, man. And I'm I'm chatting Chandler Jones' name, man, from the mountaintops, man. Because like I said, I've been praying to the football gods that he, would, that he would come through. And today he did, bro, in a big way, in a big way, man. I'm proud of, I'm, I'm proud of Chandler Jones, man. Keep doing your thing. Um, I don't even know what else to say, man. Um. Hats off to everybody. Hats off to Josh McDaniels, man. I know I've been really critiquing him. I was shitting on him a few weeks ago. I think we all were, right? Um, and it's, it's easy to do that, right? I mean, if you're not going to shit on the quarterback when they lose, you're going to shit on the head coach, you're going to shit on the defense or whoever is, is convenient uh, or whoever you think is going to be um, is the reason why they're losing games. But at this point, man, when you win – you got to give them their flowers. You got to be positive, and that's just what I'm trying to do, man. Um, I know it's easy to do that now because we're winning, but 
let's just let's continue this man as long as we can you know what i mean i'm not here to say the raiders are going to win out and do all this shit but let's just take it game by game man we got a uh, we got a tough opponent coming up thursday and yeah they may not be without you know they may be without their quarterback but they still got pieces out there man we got to be careful can't take them lightly um it is essentially another home game right we got our our second home out there in inglewood and la so the the home crowd will be there but the team has to do their job, man. Like John Gruden said, we got to do their job and take their heart. And that's what it is, man. But anyways, man, I don't want to touch too much on this because it's late. I got work tomorrow. And I've already said what I needed to say. I've got it out. Bolt down. Keenan Allen, you're trash. You're over there celebrating, you know, when you got a touchdown on our on our smallest DB And it still didn't even make a difference. You guys still lost. And your first catch didn't come until I think the second quarter. So you're trash. Hand over that chicken. I need me that that boil. Give me that boil. And uh, just win, baby. Peace.